Hello children today we will continue with the 8th lesson economy and occupation in the last video we saw the economy their performances in both the countries we also saw agriculture fishing mining in brazil so now we will be doing agriculture practiced in india what are the different products that are produced in india so unlike brazil india contributes more towards gdp okay that is agriculture there is a lot of agriculture practiced in india so that is why there is a lot of contribution from agricultural side so 60% of india's land is under cultivation and there is a lot of expanse of level plains because brazil does not have that much of plain region whereas india has uh, a lot of plain region as well as it has rich soil has high percentage of cultivable land okay and due to variety in climate it is also favorable for agriculture in india indian agriculture is mainly a support or maintenance that is a subsistence type so india produces a variety of crops like rice wheat maize sorghum which is a fodder plant and millets which is grains of bajra as a major food grain okay and there are plantations of tea coffee rubber and cash crops like sugarcane cotton jute etc india is also a major producer of variety of fruits and vegetables now we'll see fishing done in india fishing plays a very important role in the economy of our country uh, as india is one of the largest producers of fish because we not only use or uh, consume fish fishes in india are also being exported to other countries so both marine and inland fishing is being you know practiced in india fisheries help in increasing food supply so generating employment it also helps people getting job then it increases a nutritional level and it also helps in earning foreign exchange fish forms an important part of the diet in many people living in the coastal region so most of the people who consume fishes in their food are from the states like kerala west bengal orissa then andhra pradesh tamil nadu goa and maharashtra india has about 7500 kilometers of coastline marine fishing counting for about 40% of the total annual production so if you go to see in malabar coast to uh, koromandal coast that is in the eastern tamil nadu major fishes are that are caught are sardines mackerel bombay duck and prawns if we go towards the eastern coast the important fishes that are caught are horse mackerels clupides and silver bellies so in the fresh water which types of fishes are found fresh water means what the rivers or lakes ponds so these kind of fishing is carried out on the rivers canals then tanks ponds like the fishes found here are or caught here are silver bellies carp which is also called as the chopra are the major fresh water varieties about 60% of the country's total fish production comes from inland fisheries we also have the artificial fisheries in india which is also called as a pisciculture you all might have heard about it which is fish farming is the rearing of fish for food in enclosures such as fish or tank so fish the eggs are being you know like fertilized and they are being bred in an enclosed artificial pond now we'll see the mining practiced in india so in india we have uh, many places especially the north eastern and the central side where we find a lot of minerals through mining so the chota nagpur plateau in india is a big storehouse of different minerals okay that is chota nagpur mining is a main occupation for the people living there coal is being mined in korba in chatisgarh and in the eastern maharashtra 
Mineral oil wells are found in Digboy in Assam, high, Mumbai High in Arabian Sea, then Kalol and Koyali in Gujarat. Reserves of mineral oil and natural gas have been discovered at the mouth of River Godavari. Stones like marble are found in Rajasthan and Kudappa in Andhra Pradesh. Now we will see the industries in Brazil. Major industries include iron and steel. Okay, these are the main uh, industries found in Brazil. Then we also have automobile assembly, then petroleum processing, then uh, chemical production, cement industry, technologically based industries have been the most dynamic in recent years. Okay, so the industries which are based on technology have, have been increasing and having a boom. But have not outpaced the traditional industries. Similarly, food processing like sugar industries, cotton textiles, milk and woolen industries have been developed well. Most large industries is concentrated towards the south and the southeast. The northeast is traditionally the poorest part of Brazil, but it is beginning to attract new investments. Next we will see industries of india so the distribution of industries in india is very very uneven due to the you know uneven distribution of resources and raw materials powerhouses okay due to which the industry is like are largely like you know uneven somewhere it is more somewhere it is less so jharkhand orissa then uh, adjoining chhattisgarh madhya pradesh parts of rajasthan karnataka and tamil nadu Okay, account for the reserves of meta metallic minerals. What are metallic minerals? They are the minerals that can contain metals with chemical formulas. So this area, therefore particularly the northeastern part of the peninsula has a very high concentration of these kind of industries. Availability of large quantities of coal and refractory materials. What are refractory materials? They are the minerals which are heated, heat resistant, okay, that can resist the decomposition by heat, pressure or chemical attack. It is commonly applied to retain the strength. So, along the cheap power from Damodar Valley Corporation and a number of thermal power projects. Agro-based industries are also found in India. We can see like uh, we have cotton, jute, sugar are heavily concentrated in the raw material producing areas. The forest based industries also found including paper, plywood, raisins like lac etc. The, near the coastal regions of Kerala, we can see heavy concentration of coir. Coir means what? The rope that is being made out of coconut uh, you know, threadings. We also have copra. Copra means the dry coconut. And then fish canning, where fishes are canned, these industries are found in the, near the coastal regions of Kerala. Then near Gujarat in Koyali, Digbo in Assam, Noonmati in Assam and uh, Bongai Gao in Assam, refineries are situated where petroleum is being produced. And Mathura and uh, Barauni, which is in Bihar, refineries in the interior away from the coast and coal producing areas. The distribution of cement in industry is also highly conditioned in the areas where the raw materials are available. Gujarat, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu produce the bulk of salt. Okay, Here we can see the, that uh, salt is being produced. Mechanical engineering, then electricals, automobiles, uh, fertilizers and uh, numerous consumer industries which show little bias for raw materials because they do not require a lot of raw materials. So have come up all over the country okay? because other industries require raw materials. But these kind of industries like electricals and engineering automobiles do not require a lot of raw materials. So that is why it has come all over the country with heavier concentration near big cities. Most of the cities are having these kind of mechanical engineering uh, or technological industries. Next we will see the trade 
of both the countries trading system of both the countries so in brazil if you go to see brazil mainly exports iron ore coffee cocoa cotton sugar tobacco oranges and bananas while it imports machinery chemical products fertilizers wheat heavy vehicles etc so the major trading partners of brazil are germany usa canada italy argentina and saudi arabia and as well as india they also trade with us whereas in india india what does india mainly export it exports tea mangoes coffee spices leather leather goods iron ore etc many midra many products that they export while it mainly imports products like petroleum machines pearls various precious stones gold silver paper medicines and a variety of tons of other products india who which is a major trading partner with india it has countries like uk usa germany japan china russia etc now children indian companies set up industrial centers all over brazil and invested a lot of capital so the indian companies have invested in such sectors as it pharmaceuticals energy agro business then mining engineering and auto sectors brazil's footprint in india is smaller like Indi- indian companies there are many indian companies that have opened up in brazil whereas in uh, a brazilian company like there are, there are very few companies that have done business with our country so brazilian companies that have invested in are automobiles it mining energy biofuels footwear sectors in india etc so children with this we have now completed with this lesson thank you for listening take care